Wholesaling real estate is a numbers game and the odds are not in your favor. But what I'm about to share with you is a proven system for finding motivated sellers. In this video, I'm gonna break down the law of averages in wholesaling real estate, the five types of people you're going to encounter, and the three things you must do in order to find your next motivated seller. But first, if you're new here, this is the channel where I'm documenting my journey and sharing practical tips and tricks to help you close more wholesale deals. So if you like the video, go ahead, consider subscribing, like, and drop a comment. of certain events increases if the frequency is increased. In order to better understand that, let's take a look at the five types of people you're going to encounter. The first type of person you're going to encounter when you're wholesaling real estate is what I like to call the instant no. This is going to be the majority of people you encounter and they're simply just not going to be interested in selling their house. Whenever you find someone that's an instant no, it's important to just move on to the next person as quickly as possible. The second type of person you're going to encounter when you're wholesaling real estate is what I call the looker. These are the people who are too nice to say no. They'll listen to your pitch, talk your ear off, but at the end of the day, they're just looking. They're just wasting your time. When you identify a looker, it's important that you move on as quickly as possible. The third type of person you're going to encounter when you're wholesaling real estate is what I like to call the shopper. These are the people who are willing to hear an offer because you called, but in all reality, they have no real reason to sell you their house at a discount. They have no problem that you can solve. The fourth type of person you're going to come across is what I like to call the mean and rude type of person. Whenever you find someone who's mean and rude, it's important to remember that they were mean and rude before you ever found them. So don't take it personal. Just tell them to have a good day and move on to the next one. And finally, the fifth type of person you're going to come across and also the most rare type of person you're going to come across is what I like to call the motivated seller. These are homeowners who are already dealing with a problem property that you can help them solve. Everyone you talk to will fall into one of these five categories, but only a very small percentage, probably even less than 1%, will actually be motivated sellers. So don't get discouraged whenever you have a hard time finding a motivated seller because the law of averages tells us that the more action we take, the more rejection we will face, and in return, the closer we are to success. In order to find your next motivated seller, there's three things you must have. The first thing you must have is attitude. Remember, your attitude determines your altitude. This business is 99% attitude, 1% ability, and 0% luck. Your attitude dictates your production, not the other way around. The second thing you must have is consistency. You need to be marketing on a consistent, regular basis. Keep your marketing message and your pitch simple, clean, and to the point. The third thing you must have when it comes to wholesaling and the law of averages is exposure. You need to be putting yourself out there at a high frequency. Remember, if you don't tell people what you do, they don't know what you do. And if they don't know what you do, then they can't sell you their house. So if I had to sum up the law of averages in a simple, concise sentence, I would say more equals more, no equals go, and give everyone 100%. Hey, I really appreciate you sticking around to the end of this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you learned something new, drop what it is that you learned in the comment section. And if you wanna see more content like this, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.